Oh, little sock, who lost you? Who lost you in the drunken night? Will they ever come reclaim your soul? So today's video, oh no. We talk about the top eight reasons to get into wildlife videography. No photos taken ever while I film a Robin's asshole. And we test the Sony 100 to 400 G Master. It's a little shaky on the Sony A7S III. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Okay, I've been using manual focus, but now we're in autofocus. Just a little spot, tiny little spot on the eye. Is it working? Oh no. Oh, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? You're eating those. You can make lemonade out of those, apparently. They're lemony. Uh, good thing there's a stick right in the middle of your eye. I love that. So the number one reason with this epic shot, just full-spirited bird, nothing covering it. Ah, oh, gotta love it. Number one reason to get into wildlife videography just is that you get out in nature. Where we belong, humans. We were born here. It just feels so good. You get out into the woods, everything just slows down a little bit. Everything's calmer out here. You get fresher air. Go barefoot. You get this energy from the earth. Just the only problem is mosquitoes in the summer. That's a bitch. Let's see if mode two is any better. There's a squirrel. Oh, my box fell off his back. You know what I mean, ladies? Oh boy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. So that's my number one reason. You just, you're healthier. You get out here. And number two is just, you get some exercise as well. Kind of fits in. You go out in nature. You get a nice walk if you're carrying a full frame setup. You're also a bodybuilder now. Uh, oh. Oh, I got to adjust. Oh, look at me adjusting. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, not your ass. Uh, he's a punk rocker. Oh, I love it. You will be healthier after your walk, just like that cardinal. Oh, that was a bad berry, was it? Oh, he's snobby cardinals. Oh, man. That looks delicious. But yeah, you get to be one with nature. And the third reason, as we stay on this cardinal, because nothing else will ever show up, the anticipation of what you're going to see, like you might see nothing. It might be an absolutely boring day, but you could see a snowy owl or something, or a fox and his baby. You never know what you're going to see and the excitement of that. Just every time you go for a walk, it's like, oh, what's going to happen today? A deer or a duck with little babies and a rabbit? Oh, you just never know. And that fun, that's a healthy hobby right there. Just a little side rant on this stabe. I've seen better. I have seen better. I'm in mode one. Mode two is for panning. And I'm panning. Maybe that's why. All right, mode two engaged. Oh, we're engaged. Just like you two. Uh, two males, I think. Two males. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging you. Do what you want. Hey, little buddy. I'm trying to focus on him. And it's hard. It's harder than it looks. But the detail. There it is. We got it. We're losing it. That brings me to the fourth thing. <laughs> the fourth reason to get into wildlife videography. And it's just for the challenge of it. It's not easy. Like, I'm trying to manually focus on this duck coming towards me. I'm missing it now, and now I'm shaky as shit. Okay, re reset, relax. There it is. You know what? Let me just... I'm going to try turning off active stabe. What does that do? Is that better? Was active fighting me? Feels like it was. Feels like that's way better. Oh, yeah. Now I can just focus on the focus. But it's such a challenge. Like, you see something, then you're trying to get it. Yo, those are different ducks. Those are completely different. What are those? Oh, they're spike. Oh, what was that? Oh, wow. But yeah, just... Okay, you are getting out of focus. I see it. I see it now. Oh, the beauty is ours. The beauty is ours. But yeah, the challenge of finding a bird. Can you get your camera up close enough? Like, are you going to get the bird in the shot? Can you focus on it? Is it stable? 
here's with Sony autofocus. I just switched it. Some modes, like something's out in the open like that, probably autofocus is better. Not bad. Hey, little buddy. Hey, you're just sneaking on by. You are sneaking on by. Because there's other ones out there. Oh, that's hilarious. They're different, but they get along. That is interesting. There's these three, and then the other two, but one of them got scared. He turned back. Oh, he's coming back. Eventually, he'll catch up. He's slow in the head. That's funny. He's over here. Ah, uh, you're, you're the scared one. You're a scaredy duck. Oh my god, a little songbird. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, good luck focusing on that, Sony. You have fun with that twig maze. Oh man, that's a bitch. Canon would eye track it. Oh, there we go. Little side rant. I have immediate buyer's remorse due to the stabilization in this bullshit. I can just tell it's so much more shaky than the Fuji was. We have less reach. It's actually harder to manually focus because of the depth of field. I should just stop it down a bit. We're at Tony 5 right now. Okay, this is a terrible shot. Fly onto the money spot where you're clear. There it is. Oh, oh you jump. Oh, you would. You would do that. There's another one. This one seems a little calmer. Oh, that's cute. Oh, man. You get like one second. On a positive note, I'm finding 400 mil to be plenty enough. Plenty enough. We're at 100 right now. Just focused on the tree. Do you lose focus? Oh, you sure do. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was in manual focus. Zoomed in and definitely lost it. But 400, I'm getting plenty of tight shots of birds. It's all good. Imagine that 200 to 600 so much heavier and bigger and you don't really need that reach oh my god there's a hawk way out there oh stay oh there's another one that oh, this is not going well this is not going well is this good content it's it's likely not and if you're making the observation that I said I had plenty of reach and that a long ass distant talk came into my shot and I couldn't get it, you're, you're lying to yourself. That's just not the truth. Apparently this lens is known for its like macro abilities. We're not even close to the closest. I'll get as close as I can to something. That is pretty insane. That is intense. Wow. You can really get close, but it's kind of shaky just like all of my footage that's bullshit uh, buyer's remorse it really hurts the wallet and the heart another reason to get into wildlife is it's an outlet for your gas there's the gas flag wave it proud wave it proud my friend buy the gear who cares if you need it your wife will understand that's fine yeah you have a reason now to buy better gear like me, I'm I'm on a Sony bullshit system now, and it's like, uh, I could see reasons to upgrade to the food. There's a lot of reasons, and I might just pounce. But yeah, it's just like, for the longest time, I'm looking up gear for vlogging, and it's like, you know you don't need anything more than a GoPro 3. So it's like, but now it's like, okay, I need better stabilization than this. This is bullshit. The ducks, they're doing magical things. Thank you, ducks. Oh, yeah. Well, that looks like a cold-blooded murder. That's that's not what I was hoping to see today. There's more. There's blood on the trail. Oh, boy. What the hell is that? Oh, help him. That looks like a hawk's head. Another reason to get into wildlife photography, I guess this applies to landscape photography as well, but you just, you get to create something, create some beauty. We have needs to create something, either a song or a bench or a video, get some slow motion footage of wildlife and put it to music. It's like, oh, I love doing that. It's not mine. I didn't create it, but I put it together. It's just God's glory over there. This is a hand. Someone lost one of their mittens. This is a 
cry for help. They're probably up in this tree. Let's just pen up to find the body. Um, okay, they escaped. little buddy so the last reason to get into wildlife videography is it'll make you want to explore more nature something different you want to go to new places ah, life is all about the experience not like material items you'll never remember that but going to like a new park and you see an owl it's like oh man remember that buddy you will you will Okay, fly off in majestic fashion in three, two, one. Thank you. You're not doing it. There's another one. He's more active. Right, buddy? Are we agreeing on that? We're not. Do it. Oh. So, final thoughts on the Sony for the first day. Yeah. That, that stave is not very inspiring, but maybe there's a way around it. We'll see. But yeah, it's heavy. Noticeably heavier than that Fuji. Pain in the butt. I'm not sure I'm getting much better image quality. So I don't know about full frame. You might want to stick with APS-C. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'll try it again. But I think we're done here today. What are your reasons to get into this? I love coming out in winter, there's like nobody here. Everything's so peaceful. And then there's no leaves so it's easier to spot the birds. Fantastic. Is he even in focus? Probably not. That's good times. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Just as he did. Oh wow! Two of them. Are you in focus? You are not. Oh, and you never will be. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Thanks for watching and buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe.